Ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. Ah, and breathe. I've broken up. I've broken up for Christmas, which ah, feels great. Um, just have a little bit of downtime, really, on the days leading up to Yule stroke Christmas. But yes, it's done. I've got 17 days off and I'm really looking forward to them. I've poured myself a Christmas drink, a snowball, just to celebrate and I thought I would sit here with you and just go through and talk about this deck which is called um well I thought it was called the bones of bonestone um it arrived today but I've had a look um, and on it it says bonestone and her flesh tarot sketchbook edition um but it was listed as Bones of Bonestone. I certainly searched for Bones of Bonestone on MPC and that's that's how it, it came up. Um, but I want to talk about firstly why I decided to buy this deck. Um, because there is a, a bone of contention, I believe, just from being in other chats and hearing uh, people in the community and their thoughts, because it is quite an expensive deck. Um, I'll talk about my thoughts about that, but in the main, um, I'm a huge, huge fan of Arnatorian. Um, I've made no mistake about it in the past. I've had her on my channel um, and I just love her artwork. Ever since my first encounter with Anna and her decks, which is one of my favourite Oracle decks ever, um, which is Oracle of Echoes. And Oracle of Echoes is such a deep powerful, um, very expressive, very intuitive um, deck that I just adore. Um, you know, and I suppose, I mean, just look at that. I suppose, you know, people often say, what, what, if you could only choose one deck, blah, 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 blah. I mean, hopefully we should never find ourselves in that position. But if I could only have one Oracle, um, it would probably be this one. Um, I do love Roots and Wings, I do love Whisper in the Ear, but if I could only have one, it would be this, because this ticks all the boxes for me. It's absolutely incredible. There is a second edition out. I don't have the second edition. I have thought about um, getting one, um, so I've got a backup of it, and also just have a look at what the extra cards are, because, I mean, extra cards of Arna's art is not going to be a bad thing. Um... And I've also got the Hidden Waters uh, Tarot, which, I mean, the box is a little bit dinged up now. This is a very uh, deep deck because it uses the Rorschach um, system, if that's the right way of saying it, you know, where you've got um, these kind of ink blots and you see what you see. But the really clever thing about this, you know, this is the devil card and, and you know, you they've been chosen so well to represent the archetypes of the deck but there's that extra layer on there because um it's quite a deep psychological tool because that's what you know ink blots are or rorschach um artwork is you know it really gets you to think and look at things a little bit differently so this is a really cool deck as well that was my second deck and then I do have the Bonestone and Earth Flesh Tarot, which is uh, Avalon Cameron is the creator. And um, she worked with Arna and Arna produced the um, incredible artwork for this deck. However, I have found, and they're still in order, I've never really worked with this deck. I've looked at the images many, many times and it is a beautiful deck absolutely enchanting and beautiful i just i love everything about it but with the bone stone and earth flesh i mean it was released i oh know hold on oh. i purchased it like three maybe four years ago and it came out around two and a half three years later and after it was released the price of this just went through the roof 
I've seen it being sold for a thousand pounds, which is which is which is crazy. And I think because it's out of print, it went out of print very fast. Um, I felt that it was one that I needed to protect and look after. So I've never actually worked with it other than have a look at the cards, um, which is a shame because it's incredible and decks are there to be worked with and, and loved. Um, and another reason why I decided to get this. And then in the summer of this year, and if you're watching this in the future, I'm talking about the summer of 2021, um, my favourite deck of this year, and I've not long recorded my top 10 decks of 2021, and spoiler alert, this is number one. This is um, another one of, of Arna's work. She released this on her own. Um, it, was, it went straight to being picked up by US Games, and this is Tarot of the Abyss. And it is a black and white deck. I know not everybody's into black and white decks, but again, this is just incredible to work with. Um, it really gives me the feels. I get some really strong, powerful um, readings when I use this deck. Some strong messages are coming through loud and clear. Um, it hits me deep in the solar plexus when I work with this, and I get like a visceral sort of reaction when working with it. It's just, it's brilliant. I mean, look at that for the hanged one where we're actually looking at it from the perspective of the hanged person, which is just, I mean, look at that, two of swords, uh, holding the two faces. It's just, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible deck. And I love it. And it's probably been the deck I've worked with the most this year. It's already starting to get a little bit, <laughs> but I quite like that because of the black and white, we've got kind of this black and white effect when, when it's been shuffled quite a lot and used quite a lot. So. Um, so yeah, I'm an Anna Torian fan. I just, I just think she can do no wrong. Um, she's a incredibly, incredibly talented artist, and um, just, just wonderful. So when I heard about this deck, which was everybody was calling it the Bones of Bonestone, um, and that it was um, a monochrome. Um, sepia black and white sketch edition of the bone stone and earth flesh i was immediately interested in this because it's a make playing cards deck so it's a print on demand deck and i just thought well it doesn't matter then if this gets dinged up if it gets bashed you know um whereas it would if the bone stone and earth flesh got a little bit uh, bashed and then i saw the price and that made me sit back and think about okay hold on do i really want this deck and i think you know we should all be prudent when we're considering spending um uh, quite what i would consider to be quite a lot of money on a deck now this cost me 86 pounds um that's sterling i don't know what that is in dollars um alexa what is 86 pounds sterling in us dollars 86 pounds is about 114 US dollars and seven cents. Okay, so 114 US dollars for this deck. Um, and that's from MPC, which is a print on demand. There is no book. It does come in a tin, but the tins cost. This is one um, where you can have stickers. You can have printed straight onto the tin or stickers. These cost around 15 pounds. So £86 plus minus £15 is still just over £70. Now, the last deck that I bought, and I've just checked from MPC, was a CS, um, sorry, it was a Conrad Stain deck, and I paid £26. So it's almost three times the amount of what I would pay usually for a print-on-demand deck. Um... And as I said, I've been in some chats and people were complaining about the price of it and why is it that much? But do you know what? I'm kind of, I, I sit on the fence with this. I make no bones. You know, a creator can decide what they think their product is worth. And then it is up to us as consumers as to whether we agree with that price. And if we don't, we don't buy. And if we do, we do buy. Now, Whilst I thought this was an expensive product for a print-on-demand deck, um, as a tarot collector, 
and a huge fan of Arnatorian's artwork, I decided that for me, the investment um, was something I was prepared to make, you know, I was prepared to to pay that price for it. Now, as I've said before, I don't, I don't have children, I don't smoke, I seldom drink, <laughs> special occasions like now. Um, so I'm fortunate that, you know, I have a budget each month that I can um, choose to spend on debts. However, this exceeds my budget. So this I've decided is the Christmas present to myself. I bought this and a leather, um, what I'm going to use as a grimoire. And it's not coming until January, but um, I'll show that when, when I get it. So um, that's that's my justification for it. Um, also, people were saying that Arnatorian doesn't get any money or that she's not credited. And that's that's not the case. On the back, it clearly says by Am uh, Avalon Cameron, illustrated by Arnatorian. So her name is, and she is credited for the artwork. As for whether she gets any uh, money, I don't know. That's, that's between her and Avalon. Um, and usually, you know, if an artist is commissioned, there is a payment made and then the creator has the rights to that artwork. So I'm assuming that's probably what's happened there. But you know what? If we're buying these products and we're um, showing them and talking about them, then both get the the credit, you know, and, and get the kind of exposure. So I'm happy with that too. So as you can see here from the tin, we've got this nice... Um, nice design here which I've just shown this card already um, but it's interesting to see it in this kind of sepia tone and it says Bonestone and Earth Flesh Tarot Sketchbook Edition. Um, why I thought it was called Bones of Bonestone I'm not sure I'm sure that's what it's listed as. If you do search for this product um, I find it's easier to search through Google than it is through MPC itself that's the crazy state that MPC is in. Um, just go to Google, put in Bones of Bonestone, and it comes up straight away as the top one, and it shows you that it's on MPC. MPC is Make Playing Cards. Um, and then we get some cards on the back, and just by Avalon Cameron, illustrated by Arnatorian. So that's the tin. I do like uh, tarot in tins. Um, and then it is Superior Smooth, which is one of the standard uh, options you can have on MPC. Um, and I do like the Superior Smooth. It is, it has this lovely sheen to it. The cards are quite springy and flexible. Look at this. Um, and yeah, it's it's great. In terms of card size, they are standard always from MPC, a standard US game size, as you can see here. Um, but they are really durable. I do like the standard uh the standard card stock that you get from MPC. Okay, and then you can see here we get the title. It's quite small and hard to see. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I'm just trying to think of the best way to show this, whether to show each card or whether to do it side by side, being as my Bonestone and Earth Flesh original is um, in order. I'll probably do that actually. So I'm going to pause. And then I'll come back at the end because what I'm noticing as well, just look at the uh, the detail. That's what I love. And this is what's amazing about Tower of the Abyss. When it's sketched like this, you just see all the the line work and it's just, just beautiful. So I'm going to bring the camera down and we'll have a bit of a, a side by side.
So there you have it, guys. <clears throat> That's the um, the bones of bone stone, or the sketch edition, um, and the original. So firstly, just to say, obviously, um, the original is out of print. So those people who missed out on getting the bone stone in their flesh, there is a version um, available. Admittedly, it's it's very different. At first, I thought perhaps. You know, these were the sketches that were later painted on or added to, therefore being the bones of the bone stone and her flesh deck. And that might be the case in some uh, situations. But you can tell as well, um, I noticed one right near the end, I think it's the page of ones, um, that it is a complete uh, redrawing, as you can see here. The position of the tiger and everything is 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 completely different so you know um some look like they're um zoomed in so you get a more close-up look at the cards whereas in, in others you know they're they're zoomed out so i'm just thinking um here for instance you know you are looking closer um at the magician's face where I really like uh, this deck is where we do get close-up um, looks at our, our archetypal figures. Look at the Hierophant here. Um, both are beautiful, but you really do see uh, the, the line work. And I don't know, having this kind of monochrome version, um, it just... It seems more expressive. The facial features seem uh, more expressive. Obviously, there's a difference in thickness. I believe the original bone stone and earth flesh is 400 GSM. Um, so it is a much, much thicker deck, as you can see here. This also comes in this beautiful red gilding, um, whereas this isn't at all um, gilded, but you can get gilded decks off MPC, but it tends to put the price up. And if this is 114 US dollars, just as it is, then you probably wouldn't want to pay or be paying any more. Um, I like it. I like some cards more than others. There are a few that, I mean, like the Wheel of Fortune is a very kind of rough sketch where other cards are very, very detailed. And there's, there's lots to kind of look at. As I said, particularly the ones where... Um, you get facial features where you do kind of miss out like the world card here we do get this this tree but the world card is beautiful um with these chakra colors in the deck so that's something that you're going to miss also there isn't the bruja card which is an additional card i don't know why that isn't in here um, but the Bruja card, which is Avalon herself, um, isn't in this deck. But that's okay. You know, it's a 78 card deck. I think it could be, maybe, because NPC, um, if you start adding additional cards, they get funny, especially when there's uh, tins. I love this Five of Cups. Look at that facial expression. So I'm pleased I've got it. Um, do I feel it's worth... The money probably not because it's a standard mpc print on demand deck that you know but um you know if you are a collector and you really want this deck and you admire you know the artwork then it's down to individuals to decide as i said whether they pay it or not the thing that gets me i suppose more than anything is that this deck has actually cost me more than the bone stone because I think I paid around £50 for the Bone Stone. Um, and I get a book, a huge book. You know, I get the additional card, I get the gilding, I get the 400 GSM, uh, the beautiful packaging. Um, and I've paid a lot more, double, for this. And you don't get a book or anything. But I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I think it's incredible. Incredible, credible. So there you have it. That is the Bones of Bone Stone. Um, so I was surprised to see it called Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot Sketchbook Edition, but that is fine. Um, it's one I'm going to work with a lot and preserve this one. Um, 
but yeah let me know your thoughts um let's let's be civil i don't want you know any kind of uh um ill speaking of people um that's not what this is about it's about appreciating art and decks being made available in different formats and remember that we we as consumers have the power at the end of the day ultimately whether we want to support or or not so thank you for watching um i look forward to having a chat with you in the comments and just let me know your thoughts do you have this are you intending to get it is it within your budget um do you have the original bone stone and you know is this something that you want to complement that and has have as a bit of a backup did you miss out on the bone stone and therefore you're you're glad that this is available um does it meet your expectations does it fall short let me know okay everybody thanks for watching and until next time go in peace namaste and blessed be